So from devices back through to the cloud, to the, to the network uh, management software, um, you've been talking a lot about uh, the Things stack. You've shown us fancy consoles, fancy UI. But the last time I looked, the thingsnetwork.org still has the old version. What's up with that? Yeah, that's a great question. The Things Network is just running a really good version, V2. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, but we are now finally upgrading the Things Network to V3. So I showed this slide before, uh, the overview with the different um, uh, instances of the Things stack. And you already see the Things Network there in the top right. Uh, so that is um, uh, the Things Network connected to Packet Broker. Um, and we are now upgrading uh, the Things Network to the Things stack. Uh, and then with Packet Broker, you can exchange traffic with other network instances. And we have a new way to log in uh, for, uh, for your uh, user account, and that's called the Things ID. And the Things ID is our single sign on system for all the things. So you're going to use that for logging into our websites, uh, community pages, the forum. Um, certification will also be managed with the Things ID, um, uh, but also the new uh, console. Uh, you can log in with the Things ID to uh, the Things network. Um, but it will also be uh, possible to use it as a login with the Things ID uh, for apps and third-party websites. Uh, and so if you in the community want to build a login system, you can do that. Um, so uh, all, the all the existing developers are going to be migrated securely, so you probably already have a the Things ID account. Awesome. Then we're going to uh, shut down uh, V2, um, and we have a bunch of migration tools available. Uh, so you can migrate from V2, from the current version of the community network, uh, to the new version, to V3. Uh, we're going to make the Things Network read-only, uh, so you won't be able to add new applications and new gateways uh, to V2 uh, from April. And um, we are planning to shut V2 down uh, around September. And that's obviously also, uh, we are closely monitoring all the uh, measures around COVID-19. And if it's uh, not possible to go to gateways or go to devices uh, to rejoin them or reconfigure them, uh, then we obviously postpone uh, those deadlines. So we'll, uh, we'll, have a, we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that as well. We'll keep this a friendly migration. We're not gonna, For gonna sure. set, we're gonna, not going to set up anybody. No, we're not going to let you take any health risks because of V3. Yeah, yeah, um, all the gateways, they are uh, already connected to Packet Broker. Uh, so that's uh, something that we already put in place uh, last year. Uh, and they will stay connected. So uh, even if you have endpoints configured to V2, then you don't have to go to these gateways. They will stay connected. But if you want to go to the gateways and want to upgrade them, this is a great opportunity to update the firmware and to upgrade them to basic station. Uh, because that's a really good and safe protocol that we now support in V3. Nice. And then we have the Things Network V3. Um, and uh, we, the Things Industries, uh, are going to operate all the public clusters. And this is a strategical, strategical change uh, compared to with V2, uh, when we had uh, community, communities to operate uh, clusters. Uh, but we now believe that we want to harmonize that. We want to use a single DNS, a single configuration, and a single version. Um, but with Packet Broker, it's going to be easier than ever to uh, set up your own cluster. So we welcome the community to operate their own clusters, uh, instances of the Things stack open source, log in with the Things ID connected to Packet Broker, uh, and you can manage uh, networks that way as well. But we are now going to operate um, uh, the uh, uh, public community clusters uh, in different areas. Uh, and we're going to use it, we're going to operate it uh, pretty much the same way as our commercial, the Things Stack cloud offering, uh, except that the community network is one big pool of applications and organizations and users, just like you're used to. Um, and we start with uh, uh, deployments in Europe, the Americas, and Australia. And we're going to put a poll online on the uh, Things Network forums uh, to ask uh, what your opinion is where we should deploy the other uh, public clusters globally. The European cluster is already installed. Uh, you can see here the address. You can log in with the Things ID, and you can already start adding devices to the Things network on V3. Wow. So that's now awesome. finally, finally. So we're getting there. We're getting uh, there. All the new software is coming to uh, the yep. Things network as well. Uh, harmonization uh, across this. Uh, uh, the, all the platforms that is that is that's great news.